Okay, I'll try and keep this brief, reasonably brief. Here goes the car. So I was having a, uh, a thought in bed the other night. It's, it's one I've had before. And I'm going to put it on record, so to speak, so that I can come back to it. So I meant to touch on it uh, this morning and the other morning. It just wouldn't come to me. Yeah. We're all aware of ultraviolet, infrared, tones of sound that are beyond human comprehension. Dog whistles do work. I'm sure elephant can hear sounds far deeper than we can. So there are colours and sounds we cannot see. And my thought, my idea was that instead of thinking of this uh, science fiction-y other dimensions, this religiously hopeful wishing for another place to be, perhaps the simple answer is that there is a direction, nothing more, nothing less, than a direction that is beyond our, beyond our ken, beyond our know, beyond what we can comprehend. We are taught quite simply that there are four directions, north, east, south, west, and there are, we, we, we all go through the little anacronyms as children, never eat shredded wheat, yeah, all those things. Or well, if the... What well, if there's a direction out, a direction up that we are not aware of, and a direction in or down that we are equally unaware of. I will have to come back to this one because there's another thought I just want to put out there. And uh, that's to ask people, have you seen or heard of the film Where's Jack? Starring Tommy Steele. Oh, I forgot his name. Baker. Stanley Baker. Young lady as well. Now, without spoiling it, <laughs> Jack is a master thief of sorts. He is forced to work in cahoots with the bad guy and for this he is executed and they hang him. Spoiler alert, it turns out at the end of the film they stick a little metal tube down his throat to stop it from constricting, constricting completely when they hang him and hence our hero lives although everybody else believes him to be dead. The actor and singer Tommy Steele didn't make too many films. He did not make too many serious films. Where's Jack, for me, is still one of the best films I've ever seen. Phenomenal film. And if London was really like that back then, we don't know how good we got it, even with the brainwashing. <laughs> one final thought, if and no, nobody has to stay for this one except for possibly Matty Ice, and this relates to The Walking Dead, the new season. Oh my gosh. There is no need for such gratuitous violence.
I, for one, do not want to see the return of the gladiator rings. I, for one, do not wish to see the return of public executions. And I, for one, do not want to see so much gratuitous violence on the TV. And you see, the joy of the internet is that I can turn it off and go elsewhere. The trouble with TV, particularly in Britain, is there's no other choice. Even if I just wish to watch the internet, I must pay a fee for it. If I wish to watch The Walking Dead, I must pay for it. I tell you now, I shall not be paying for it anymore. Anyway, there are so many more thoughts I could touch upon, but just those. A direction we cannot see. Tommy Steele. Where's Jack? And hoax deaths. And yeah, too much gratuitous violence on the TV. No thank you. Uh, peace and luck to you all. You just have to listen to me quiet. Billowing out. Oh, next to it. No. I'm actually here for the birds. Don't go in the road, please. Right, so Aiden, you have to stop talking for a minute. He's gone. Look. Let's turn this way. I'm not sure how good the mic is. And then this one. <laughs> what are they all saying to each other, eh? What are they saying? Isn't that a beautiful evening? Peace and luck, everybody.